Good morning guys from Taos, New Mexico and welcome to the vlog. We took a uh, day off yesterday from filming and it just kind of felt nice. Yeah, everybody needs a day off every now and then and only drove a short ways up to Taos. So we ended up uh, staying the night at Taos Mountain Casino. So the casino was not very large at all. It was uh, not much bigger than like the size of a McDonald's, but they had a spacious lot for us to uh, stay safely and uh, free for the night. And uh, now we're back on the road. Uh, one of the missions for the day is to uh, empty our holding tanks and fill up our fresh water tank because we showered this morning and that kind of used up just about the last of our water. Uh, there are campgrounds in this part of the world that have water and uh, dump stations and even electricity so we're still undecided whether we're going to uh, land in a campground with some uh, facilities for the night or if we're going to land in a uh, RV park. So I think we're gonna have a beautiful drive today. We're gonna drive a stretch of the Enchanted Circle. The roads are definitely gonna be on the windy side and hopefully they don't get too intense. Well guys, I think we have just surpassed a new record for RV Nelly, going over 9,000 foot of elevation. This is the first time for both Ben and I to be in northern New Mexico, up here where you get into the forested part of the state, and my, I'm literally just speechless. It's so beautiful, and uh, just, wow. I. I don't even know what to say, like it's it's gorgeous here. Uh, amazing views when you get up onto the higher elevations and then wide open valleys down in the lower parts and little hills and beautiful trees, all different kinds of trees. We can imagine that in the, in the fall, it must be beautiful here. It also looks like we're gonna find out how good these uh, new Les Schwab brakes are because this is a seriously windy and steep descent. Like I think I'm gonna have to go into one so I'm not riding the brakes too much. And I got somebody behind me that I want to let pass, but I just haven't had the opportunity to.
you guys, we are driving along Eagle Nest Lake and there's a campground up here at a uh, state park. So we have kind of high hopes for it. Uh, we also see a, a couple RV parks that are very reasonably priced for uh, $27 a night. So that's not bad at all. So we just spoke with one of the rangers and he gave us a little bit of the lowdown. So if we stay here, we would not be able to uh, drive our ATV around. Uh, the fishing in the lake is fairly good right now. He said for the uh, trout and perch are starting to bite and it's uh, $10 a night. So there's no hookups, no anything like that. But 10 bucks a night is not a bad rate. This place has some really nice campsites, guys. They all have uh, nice little covered areas. And almost all of them are pull-throughs from what I'm seeing. Like, look at that. That's an amazing sight. I wouldn't mind picking out a site where we could just drag the kayaks right to the lake. Well, the decision has been made and we are going to stay the night. We're able to fill up the tanks. There is no dump station though, so we'll have to do that somewhere else. This is definitely an AT&T town, 87 on the latency, 9.22 down and 3.27 up. So we have to boost Verizon to get these numbers, but a 319, a 0.18 down and 1.16 up. All of the sudden, all of these mosquitoes just moved in. Okay guys, here's our campsite and we're going to stay here for at least two nights because it's pretty darn nice. It's also kind of amazing how fast the uh, weather moves here. Like when we pulled in, the lake was glass. Perfect. And since, you know, there's thunder rolling, you know, you can see the rain over there. You have a little uh, rain cloud over there. All right, well, that's all part of the fun. And and uh, we're gonna be here for two days, so make sure you hit that subscribe button because I can almost guarantee if the wind stops blowing, we're gonna get the kayaks off. We'll see you tomorrow.